I started uh, reaching out. Like it was a lot of uh, gatekeepers when it came to that. Until I met Chin, he was cool with giving out the information and um, leading me in the right direction when it came to that. That's when I started my LLC in 2017. I ended up catching another case and uh, I ended up having to stay in Cleveland. And that's when I was able to sit down and put all my plans on paper. I put the whole blueprint down, put everything down, and I actually executed it when I got released it. For the second time, I executed everything in 2019. And then that's when I met you. Now, what did your mama say after you did this the second time? Man, she was definitely hurt. But that's that's when I had to maximize my, my network and my knowledge that I had. So the blueprint was already put together before I was incarcerated. It was just, I executed when I got out. That's when I reached out to you and you pretty much opened your arms and just told me exactly what to do. Now, how did you find out about me? Through one of my friends, uh, Antoine Steele, you was at one of his, uh, you was at a seminar. You was at a I seminar. Was... You, matter of fact, you said you was you was complimented on his hair. Mm -hmm. And he got, he got real fine, real a light hair. Dude. He had a light skin dude. And then he was telling you about me, like, yeah, my dude about to open up a barber school. And at that time, when he was telling you, I had already got the lease and everything. Like when I say, I, as soon as I got out, I tried to execute the barber school, but I was so lost, I didn't know what I was doing. He's like, man, look, you need to talk to Chin. I, I got you on the phone, we talked for a good two hours. And you pretty much like, bro, you been going all around the wrong way, but I'm gonna help you out. I'm gonna lead you around the right direction because like one thing about me, once I'm, whatever goal I'm going for, I'm too persistent, I'm not gonna let off. So you just pretty much led me down the right direction. And that's one thing I can definitely tip my hat to. But we met in person. Yeah, I flew down there to Atlanta, spoke over the phone, and then I actually wanted to come down there and meet you. So I brought my daughter and my mother down there, went out to eat, sat down, broke broke some things out to me. Like, oh, you, baby, pretty much, you are you already in too deep. This is where we're going to, I'm going to help you figure it out from here. And pretty much, you, we talked every single day. I'm calling you 24-7. And it's not one time you didn't answer the phone. Not one time you didn't answer the phone. So, yeah. I felt like it was more possible. Um, it was it was like at that time I was already in the midst of because like I said I already signed a lease, but it's you when you can actually talk to somebody who's done it and they're on the same level as you, level headed. They can tell you where you're making mistakes at. It it always helps. And you were like you were so warm when you was talking to me, and my mother. Like hey. This is where you're going wrong at. This is what you need to do. I'm going to introduce you to X, Y, and Z, and then we can take it from there. Um, we went to buy right, and I didn't actually end up using buy right. I ended up going another route, though, but um, I felt like it was possible. After when I, you got, you spoke life into me when I when came down to Atlanta, because at that time, I felt like I was bleeding so slow, bleeding out slowly. Jump head, head in, jump off that clip, and you're going to grow your wings when you're coming down. And if you don't, it's always a learning lesson. That's how I, I, that's how pretty much I jumped in. Like I literally just woke up one day and I said, I'm about to go sign this lease. And I did it. And I would, I mean, that's my way. That's my way. But now if I now we was to rethink it, even though I planned before I did it, because like I said, I had a whole blueprint. I had a whole, I had a, I had everything put together on paper, but it was only based off the knowledge I knew. It wasn't too much based off of like a chin who's been doing it. So I would say jump in with a mentor, of course. If you ain't learned nothing else from me, you just gotta have that mentor. That's key to your to your success of opening your school. And just follow your dreams pretty much. Like if it's meant to happen, it's meant to happen. And even if you even like my friend used to tell me, like, bro, even if it don't work out for you right now, everything that you learned, you can literally you have that knowledge, that tangible knowledge where you can still do a ball back over. It might take a couple more years, but God's timing is pretty much everything. Like if I would have had it in my timing, uh, if I would have had it up in that year that I thought I was gonna be, uh, I don't know how successful it, um, it, it would have ended up turned out. I have more, I have more uh, passion about it now since it took more time. That's why everybody's like, man, this was a journey. I just was well, called Journey Barber School, man. Like you picked the right name for it. I sure did. But just push through, push through, keep the right mentors around you, get those leeches away from you. If they actions, all actions has always outweighed any word.
So the people that say it's gonna help you, if they're not there to help you, don't take it personally. Remember, this is your goal. That's another thing I learned. This is my goal. So anybody who didn't want to help me, I don't take it personal. I just keep it pushing.